What's up everybody? It's Diesel here once again, and my phone won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, we are on episode 53, guys. Holy crap, 50 freaking 3. I told you, we're gonna be up at like 55 before we get to the end of the series. But on the last episode, we did something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, we um... We defeated that that one demon. It was like level 99. It was kicking my ass left and right. It was terrible. Huh. My ass is still hurting from all that. Hold on. I know what I was doing now. I need to find this. This path. I need to find that path. So let's go and find ourselves a path. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Kind of, sort of. What's around me? Who wants to die? Who wants to die? Oh, the little chickens! Oh shit, big chicken, big chicken! Skadoo! Oh god, ah, I got myself! Oh god, it hurts! It hurts! It hurts so much! I'm sorry, guys! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! We all good? Better than good. Good to go. <laughs> oh, that was funny as fuck. I forgot. I had, uh. I forgot I had that spell on. <laughs> And on top of that, I forgot it also hurts everybody. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was hilarious. I hurt myself. I hurt my teammates. Oh, that was bad. That was awesome. But it was it was it was funny. <laughs> yes! All right. On this episode, we're doing the Frog Lady. Uh, <laughs> what you the call it? Amazing. The quests. That's it. I'll probably take a trip back to Lestalon to talk to Viv, 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 whatever the hell his name is. And then, I don't really know from there. Because we're running out of stuff to do. I do know that we have to do the Adamat Adamatos, or whatever the hell it's called, still to do, which is that really, really big hunt that I thought was a post game boss, but he's really not. He's actually a Chapter 14 boss. But that's another one I want to do, but I'm going to have to dedicate an entire episode to that by itself because it will take me forever, and I do mean forever, to kill him. Even with our Unleashed Armature. I played it on my original account without the Unleashed Armature because, like I mentioned in a previous episode, I just recently found out about that. So I didn't even know that that was even a thing. So I fought him without Where's unleashing my armature. Son? Yeah. All right, now we gotta find fireflies. This ought to be interesting. To it. Unfortunately, we've already been in this dungeon before, so there's no royal alarm for us today. See ya. Can't stop not. What can I say? One shot. Oh, oh, now. Yeah. Uh, 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 sorry awesome. about that. Get uh, uh, Woo! Uh, Hell yeah. I guess we're going this way. No room for error. Hey! Let's do this. Right. Yeah! Yeah! See ya! They're making this shit too easy. Then again, I'm like super overpowered. Yeah. 
Come here, bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Probably should be warp striking these guys a lot more so I can get the Let's AP. Go. Now I'm just slacking. Alright, we're in the area we need to be at. Say your prayers. This should take long. What can I say? That's more like it. Give me that AP. So now we need to look for these fireflies. Catch Marwood fireflies. Yeah, we catch three of them. I'm not even sure on where the hell they'll be at. But apparently they're somewhere in this general vicinity. So we just gotta look. Tomb. Is there like a certain time they only come out? In order to continue her frog research, Sanya needs an injection of capital and an article on rare fauna. Fauna? Fauna? I don't know. Should fetch a high price. The Marwood Firefly is a suitable subject, and Noctis can aid Sanya's fundraising by catching live specimens. Okay, but we have kind of a slight issue with this. Where are your fireflies even at? Where, oh, where, oh, where? Are they maybe inside the tomb itself? Would that be a thing? Doesn't look like that. I just realized all these statues look the same. see any physical representation of them you know what I mean like nothing glowing nothing nothing temper temper huh. I really don't see anything Am I losing my mind? I, I don't know. Do they not come out when it's raining? But there's so many questions that I'm having right now. This damn rain would stop already. Is there a. No, there's not. I was gonna say, is there a freaking campsite around here? Because there is no fireflies in this area. I've walked everywhere. There is no fireflies. I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? The only thing I can think of is that they don't come out when it's raining. This has to be like a specific time sort of thing. And they I don't remember dumb bitch telling me shit about it being dark, night, whatever. Rain, shine.
Okay, if that's the case, then I guess we're gonna return to the entrance. Oh, there is a rest spot. I'm so dumb. Let's go to that rest spot. Come on, Noctis, stop being stupid. We're about to test my theory right now. Because the only thing I can think of is that they come out at night and it's, it can't be raining. Because fireflies come out at night, anyways. That's, you know, how I know fireflies. Damn it, I went the wrong fucking way again. We're here. Wait until nightfall. And it's still raining. Wait until morning. There we go. Now it's stopped raining. Thank you. Wait until nightfall. Better. Now, let's go figure out if this worked. Guys, we got a little problem over here. Cool. Good take care of it. Alone? I wasn't part of the deal. We're on the same page. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Let's be done with this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's the fireflies. They look like fireflies anyways. Hell yeah. Now they're actually here, like they're supposed to be. Cause I don't think these were here before. And if they were, I did not see them. That's probably the third one right there. Let's nice. And get back to Sonya. What the hell was that? Anybody else hear that? Oh, look at this. Mm, I'm sensing a powerful aura. And some anger. <sighs> What's up, bitch? Let's go. Yep. Well, since it's dark out, it's probably gonna be demons in here now. Yep, demons, demons, demons. Demons, demons, demons. Oh my lord. Hey, where'd you learn 
that one knocked. Your mom. Right. Say your prayers. Hey! See ya! Bitches. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Fuck off. Much better. Uh, where am I going? That way. Say your prayers. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker. Give me your AP. Thank you. AP! Damn it. Again. I rest for the wicked. Onward. Yep. Almost out. Almost out. Yes. Freedom. <sighs> Freedom. Smell that fresh air. Ah, makes you feel alive. Yeah. Don't get used to it. Why is everything such a big deal with you? Let him have his fun while he's still alive. Yeah, you guys better take this one. Perfect demon weather. Come on out, bitches. Where the fuck are they? There they are. Other one at. Oh, there he is. Ooh, regalia. Galia, where are you? So glad there's no demons. I kind of wish there was. I kind of need the experience. I want to level up the characters as much as humanly possible before the end. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. 
it is what it is. I want to get it up just so I can fight the Adamatos or Adam Adam. I can't never say his name. Yes. Nothing to it. Got them all. You would think when they run uphill that the stamina would run out faster, but it doesn't, and I'm kind of glad for that. <laughs> I know my ass be running uphill. Ugh. Oh my god! Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit! Nice. Now we can take this quest location to here and to there. We're Everything coming, Sonya. Yep. We are coming. In full force. Oh, damn, Ignis, I wasn't ready. Oh. Oh, whiplash. Drive, monkey, drive! I don't know why he just didn't go straight and loop around. I guess it would take a little bit longer. Never mind. I see his reasoning. Alright, supercharge! Activate! Kinda, sorta. So far, no demons. Kinda wish we can go past that Kujata, whatever, that giant moose bull looking thing. Oh yeah, he gives me a lot of experience every time you kill him. That's just what I need. AP, actually how much AP do we have? We're at 268. We're not that much farther away, guys. Not that much farther away. Before we know it, we'll have our 333. And it's gonna be amazing. We get our third accessory slot, so we can have the armature and another, was it ruby or emerald or some kind of other bracelet. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. What the fuck? What the hell just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go shopping. Sounds reasonable enough. <laughs> Noctis, you went through the car, man. What are you doing? Are you joining us? All right, Sonya, I'm back. I brought you your damn fireflies. Wow, the condition is superb. Here's your hard-earned reward. Now then, let's see what answers I can coax out of this. Golden hourglass. Hey, want to be my study buddies? Hourglass that glitters with gold protects the wearer from stop. A prototype asset suit powered by magic tech enhances strength, vitality, and maximum HP remarkably. Oh. We need to get that. Oh yeah, magic tech suit, you're going on. Yes. That made me so much more powerful. And poor Ignis, he doesn't even have shit. Thank you. 
I don't know. Alright, all I know is that now that I did her quest, she's gonna pop up somewhere else. Oh, I thought it might have been down there, but it's not. I know her little question mark's gonna pop up somewhere. Just know she'll be around. The more I look, the more I feel like I'm not going to find her. Where, oh, where? I don't know. But what I do know is, we need to head back to Lestalem. Come on, fellas. Off to Lestalem. We gotta go. Demons need to be slain. Everything in order. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, and on we go. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Only because I can't wait to kill some demons. I love using that new armature, guys. That is so much fun. It is just so cool, so cinematic. Cinematic. <laughs> so good. And now that we've uh, <coughs> unleashed it, basically all these like red giants and stuff, oh, they're nothing. <sighs> More demons. That time already? I'm not in the mood for these horror film rejects. Okay, this ain't nothing. You're done for. Here we go! Woohoo! Like I said, now we're the day. Indeed. What? Oh, really? What the fuck? Okay. I guess it's stuck up there. Everything in order. Yep. Oh, we're not. Oh, we got two of them. Oh! Come on, Arnea. I figured that was you. She already knew what was up. Hey, Arnea. Mind if I join you? I love Arnea. Watch where you swing that thing! Alright, come on guys. I'm gonna be all dramatic and just walk up to him. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I ain't scared of you. Not anymore. I can keep this deal check. There we go. I'm about to show you guys what I mean. They can't do shit to me! Let's go! You can't do anything to me, buddy. Wind Scar! Apocalypse! Uh, 
Come on, bitch. What you got? What you got? That's right. You ain't got nothing. Nothing on me. Get that shit out of here. Ain't got much life left in it. Let's finish this. Show no mercy. Gladly. <laughs> Celebrate by eating something dead. Not too shabby. Later, RNA. Oh shit, where's the car at? Damn, we came all the way down here. <laughs> Holy crap. I wanted to do the the big attack. What the fuck? Get out of my face. Cho Cho, how about this? See ya. I'm done with this riffraff. Was that perfect or what? I'll give you that. Alright. Everything in order. Yep. Mm hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. I've also noticed that um, when you're in the armature, you can't use his special moves while you're in the air. You have to be on the ground, and you also have to be, not necessarily standing still, but you got to be, I don't think you can be in motion, now that I'm thinking about it. You actually have to be standing still, almost. And then you can do his special moves and stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought we were coming close to a demon. Guess not. Oh, it's five now, so now the demons won't be coming out anymore. That sucks. I really, really, really wanted to keep fighting them. And there's not a rest spot between now and Lestalem, so... Can't even make it nighttime. That's all right, though. That's perfectly fine. Almost to Lestalem. I don't know if this is going to be the last quest for Viv. It might be because he made us go to a completely different area so it might be the last one. I'm not sure. I know once we get to the end of Sonya, the frog lady's um, quest line, we get a ribbon at the end of all that. And that's something that I'm trying to get more than anything. Is that ribbon. Because it will come in handy, trust me. I just wish I got it done earlier. I, would, I really wish I would have put the time into doing her quest line a little bit more. So we could have got it a little bit earlier, possibly. This place is hot. Just take your shirt off. Like you? No way. What, too embarrassed to show your scrawny body? Hey, I got muscle. You just can't see it. If you say so. Hey, Viv. Vivian. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, we got the photo all right. Um, why is it black? What happened? Ooh, hey, you could knock me down with a chocobo plume right now. This is the scoop you wanted. <laughs> I can't print this. 
kids read my magazine. Wouldn't want their parents suing me. Plus, this thing was haunting the painting, right? So who's to say it's not haunting this photo, too? This shot could come back to haunt me. I better hide it. Oof. After all that trouble? Look, I I'll still pay you. You did what I asked. Heck, I'll sweeten the prize for you. See, I need a boss like that. It's like, oh, you did all that trouble? Man, I'll even throw in a raise. 25,000 gil! Oh my god! I'm on the hunt for my next big scoop. What are you boys up to? Work tomorrow. Maybe we should call it a night. Work, smirk. Let yourself live a little. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> how we can greet people and stuff. It's awesome. All right. Well, shit. I thought he would at least had one more, but he doesn't. I guess we'll head back to Hammerhead. Um, talk to Cindy. What? That's gonna take us a while, though. No, we won't fast travel, only because I want to get that AP, guys. It's the only reason why I don't want to fast travel. You bet. But, I will see you guys when we get to Hammerhead, so that way you guys ain't got to sit through this boring-ass car ride all the way to Hammerhead. So, I will see you guys when we get there. Ooh-wee, we are here at Hammerhead. Oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? We're back. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Let's go see Taka. I want to see if he's got any hunts. Before we go talk to Cindy. Hey Taka. What's up homie? You boys eating your fill? I can tell you all about the area. Want to help out with some varmints? Ooh, we got one hunt. That's a behemoth. Much oh, yeah. We definitely gotta go do that. Stay alert. You know, after we go huh. talk to Cindy, of course. Oh, Cindy! Cindy! Oh, lovely, lovely Cindy! Ah! Yo, brace yourself for power! Oh, he's still not ready. There y'all are. Well, did you find him? Yep, got him right here. You do? Oh, thank the stars. Now, whether you keep using him is up to you. But humor me and give him a test run first, won't you? And what's so special about him anyway? The bulbs pack a punch. The light they shine so bright, it'll have the demons heading for the hills. Oh, that's awesome. Sure is. Would have been nice if everybody had them before the city got walled off. It was about 20 years ago. A car running through these parts one night. All of a sudden, the demons jumped it. Saw it with my own eyes. Can't never forget it. And I can't help thinking, if they had these lights, they'd still be alive. You know? Yeah, I get it. Anywho, let me know when you want to give them a try. And thanks for all your hard work, y'all. You're very welcome, Cindy. Anytime, girl. Gotta keep my uh, my buddy Prompto's lady very happy. You know how it goes. Well, ain't you a lucky one? I've got just the thing. What are y'all after today? What do you fix in to upgrade? See, with these special lights, now we can literally never run into any demons at night. They will never spawn as long as we have these lights on. But we're not going to put them on just yet. You might be thinking to yourself, Diesel, seeing ya. why would you not put these magnificent lights on your car so you don't have to deal with the demons anymore? Because I really, really, really want to keep encountering them so that way we can get that experience as much as we possibly can. And oh my god, that's a far drive. But we can fast travel though. Oh, it's only one minute? What? Nah, we're not going to fast travel. 
One minute down the road, What's the ain't forecast? good. Forecast: clear skies with the temperature rising. That nice. is not that big of a deal. Leave it to a genius like Cindy to find a way to free us from the restrictions of the road. How does she do it? Um, by following instructions. Which were drawn up by Sid, I might add. Though I'm curious what she meant by a car like the Regalia. Maybe Dad had a spare? If he drove the car anything like we do, he probably needed one. I just love how glad he was like, uh, by following instructions? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking glad you're such a smart ass. I love it. Oh man, he's a oh the behemoth is over here by where that uh that statue was. Okay. All right. This is where we're gonna have a really big boss battle very soon. That's probably gonna be on the next episode. I'm probably gonna do it on the next episode, and then it's gonna be episode Arden, and then the end. Sound like a plan, guys? You know, I just come up with this shit as I go. <laughs> I do not plan stuff ahead, I really don't. I might plan, like, hey, I wanna play this game ahead of time like that's about as far as thinking ahead I go I don't script my videos I don't think about what I'm gonna talk about I just kind of talk about it as I go because I feel like I'm more interesting if I just say stuff as it comes to mind than it is if I script everything you know if I think of stuff ahead of time then it doesn't really have that same punch you know what Here I mean yeah <sighs> we made it there is one video on my channel I have fully scripted, though, and that is the uh, top five uh, Final Fantasy characters video. One of the very first videos I ever made on the channel. That one I actually wrote a, a complete script for. And after writing it, I, I realized that scripting videos is just not my forte. I never did like writing papers in school. So when I wrote that script, I was like... Yeah, I really don't like doing this at all. I don't know why. Although I love reading, if that makes any sense. I don't like to read books, if that makes any sense, but I do like to read, like, short stories and stuff like that. Like, Edgar Allan Poe is probably one of my favorite uh, poets slash authors. Because of their short stories, but they're impactful. Nonetheless, you know what I mean? They have a great story to tell. And then usually it goes right into whatever it is that oh, nice here. he's trying to portray, you know. And one of my favorite stories by Edgar Allan Poe. And you can also leave your favorites down in the comment section below Indeed. as well. I would love to hear your favorite kind of, you know, poets, authors, stuff like that. And maybe different series that you may like to read as well. I would like to hear all about that. So leave that in the comment section below. But one of my favorite, all-time favorite, um stories by Edgar Allan Poe and I cannot remember the actual name of it I think it's called the old man the eye or something like that or the eye of the old man I can't remember exactly how the, the title actually goes but I do know that it's about um, like an old man that lived in a, in a room by himself he was blind or something and there was a guy that lived in the room next to him and he got he pretty much went insane and killed the old man and tried to hide his body, is basically. I know that's very graphic, even for some of you kids out there, Are you but... kidding me? That thing's huge! T in today's standards, this story is actually pretty PG. But now we got ourselves a behemoth, guys! Look at this! Look at him! He's so majestic, and I love it. I love behemoths. It's probably one of my favorite animals slash monsters in all Final Fantasy games. Come on. Look where you're going! Didn't mean to do that. Woohoo! Ow. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Ah, I tried to block it, it didn't work. Oh, damn! Why are you so angry? Oh, 
Oh, it's time to go now, buddy. Woo! Whatever you say, Ignis. You're done! I even amaze myself sometimes. Your ego is what amazes me. Frankly, I'm just amazed we actually made it. <laughs> I love the freaking armager, man. It's so good. It's so OP and I love it. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Oh, this thing again. Next thing I need now. I feel the not close. Ignis, Boom! We're on the same page. Let's go. Yep. I just can't believe I never knew about unleashing the armature. I even um, brought it to my girlfriend's younger brother. He's only like 21, 22 years old. But uh, I brought it to his attention because he not only got the game. Oh, no, no. He didn't, he didn't buy the game. I bought the game day one, but he would borrow it from me when I was at work and stuff and play it on his spare time. And he pretty much beat the game. Way ahead of time before I even got anywhere close to beating it. And he didn't even know about it. And he's the type of person that likes to search and get everything. He likes to get as close to 100% as he could possibly get. He's the only oh, guy I know yeah. that goes out of his way to 100% like Kingdom Hearts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Tries to find every item, every Dalmatian, everything that you can possibly collect. The stickers, the the, the lucky emblems from uh, here. Kingdom Hearts 3. He tries his best to find them all. And he didn't even know about the armature being unleashed. I showed it to him and he's like, I didn't even know about that. It's like, me neither. The game doesn't tell you about it. The, no, Nobody in the game even hints at it. So it, it really surprised me when I came across a video on YouTube. Everything in order. And it's yep. like, armature unleashed. And I'm like, what? <laughs> check it out and then it's all these cool moves and stuff and it tells you how to do it and I'm like how come the game never tells you this you would think it would tell you something like that or even get hinted at like core hey once you get all 13 you know you can really open up your power or so something hint at it just make that little bit of a mystery to make people look but apparently if somebody came across it just searching around, I guess. I mean, it's a random statue in a random area, so of course people are probably going to be like, what is this? And walk up to it. And once you have all 13 royal arms, it's going to activate. So, it's crazy. It's crazy what they put in these games for you to find. I have, Although there is an Easter egg in the game, and I'm assuming it's in Altitia, somewhere in Altitia. But there's a Square Enix Cafe in the game. Yeah, I have yet to find it. I've seen so many people take screenshots of it on like the Final Fantasy 15 forums that are on the Xbox themselves and stuff like that. I've seen so many people find it. I have never found it, and I've been looking <laughs> a little on, on and off, you know, as I'm walking through the city, but I've never come across it. But then again, I've never looked up to see where exactly it's at either. So that's that's a thing. One day we'll I'll have to show that to you guys. I want I want to. Because I just think that is so cool. Even if I take a screenshot of it, I might just post it on Twitter. But it's definitely going to get found one of these days. Although, if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely go follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below, guys. Hey, who's up for a bite? Taka, oh Taka, oh buddy pal. Oh, oh uh, what can I do you for? You all good? 
I probably uh, asked this before, but why is it that every time I approach Taka, he's always so nervous? Is there a reason for that? Does he have like PTSD or something? Take your pick. Oh, that's all of the. Uh... Hunts in this Drop area. On by whenever you're hungry. That's good enough for me. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. On the next one, we will. Oh God, I keep burping. Oh, not burping, but uh, hiccuping. There we go. Got a little bit of both in a way. Huh. Next episode, we're going to be doing "Let Sleeping Mountains Lie," where we take on. The Adam Mat Matios, or however way you say his freaking name, I don't know. But we're going to fight him. If you don't know, you're going to know. If you do know, don't spoil it for anybody in the comment section, please. Because it's 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 a big fight. It's going to take a while. I might not record... Well, I'm going to record the entire fight, but I might not have the entire fight in the one episode. Because like I said, it took me two and a half hours to beat him last time. Without the Armager Unleashed at level 90, and we are currently at level 74. Once we get our experience to about 500,000, I'm going to go to uh, Golden Quay, sleep there, double it to a million, and level up as much as we possibly can. Once we do that, then I'm going to take on the Adamantios. So, in other words, I'm pretty much going to be doing a lot of grinding between now and the next episode just to get everything ready you know what I mean so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and definitely smack that like button as hard as you can and while you're at it use your other hand to smack that notification bell so you can also be notified for every new video new Call of Duty new oh 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 I forgot speaking of Call of Duty I mentioned this on my Twitter so follow me on Twitter link is in the description I posted on Twitter that I got the new Modern Warfare Call of Duty and it is super fun I am actually enjoying myself playing this so with that being said there is going to be a new body bag montage coming out in the near future I don't have a set date yet I haven't even started recording for it yet but it will be coming out in the near future once I figure out what song I want to use and then get the clips together do all the editing and then that video will be out for you guys very very soon so definitely stay tuned for that. Hit that subscription button if that is something that you're interested in. And go and check out all the other body bag montage videos I have made. I got four of them in total and they are all great. At least in my opinion, I love them. They're one of my favorite things. Even though some of them got a little bit messed up in the middle of them. But that's okay. They're still great videos. I'm not going to lie. So definitely check them out. Alright, enough shameless plugs and all that. So with all that being said, guys. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification to get notified. Leave your comments, your suggestions, and all that good jazz down below. Check all the links in the description. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Mixer, and Instagram, all the links are down below. Click them, follow, and you're done. I'm trying to hit 300 followers on Twitter, and I'm trying to hit 200 followers on Instagram. So if you want to help me out, definitely check those out. And with all that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. It's been your host, Diesel. Deuces.